Welcome to Northwestern Specialists in Plastic Surgery. We've created this informative presentation to provide you with information regarding breast reconstruction with tissue expanders and implants. Any and all of this information can be reviewed with any of our clinicians at any time. When compared with other types of breast reconstruction, tissue expander implant reconstruction is the least involved, including the shortest hospital stay and the least recovery time. Most patients stay in the hospital one to two nights and return to work within approximately two to three weeks. This type of surgery does not require any additional scars besides the mastectomy scar. Drains are placed after surgery under the arm and are usually in place for approximately seven to 10 days. In general, this type of reconstruction is performed in two steps, which will be described in more detail to follow. This diagram depicts the expected timeline for breast reconstruction with tissue expanders and implants. We will return to this diagram many times as we explore each step in more detail. In general, first stage reconstruction involves the mastectomy and tissue expander placement, and second stage reconstruction involves exchanging the tissue expander for your permanent implant. Surgery for symmetry on your unaffected breast can occur at your first and or second stage surgery. These procedures may include breast reduction, lift, or implant placement. After your second stage surgery, nipple reconstruction, if needed, will be carried out in two steps. Both of these procedures can be done in the office and require very little or no recovery time. At your first surgery, after your mastectomy is completed, your plastic surgeon will perform your first stage reconstruction, at which time a tissue expander will be placed. This tissue expander is placed under the muscle on your chest. This reconstruction does not require another incision. Expected scars will be those related to the mastectomy. In most cases, this incision will run across the breast, beginning where the nipple used to be, angling up towards the armpit. If you are having a nipple sparing mastectomy, this scar may run from the nipple out towards your armpit or may be under the breast in the fold. In some cases, muscle coverage is not adequate and a soft tissue support material, usually alloderm, will be placed in order to secure the pocket in which the implant is placed. Alloderm is a material made out of human skin that has been washed of all of its cells. It is not something you can see or feel. In this picture, alloderm is the lighter colored material at the bottom of the breast. Alloderm is more commonly used in nipple sparing mastectomies and for reconstruction of patients with larger breasts. In general, we use alloderm in approximately one third of our patients. Use of alloderm may increase fluid production after surgery, so drains may be in place longer than average. This is a tissue expander. The gray circle is the integrated port. At the time of your first surgery, this tissue expander will be filled to take up your excess skin. In most cases, this means that your breast reconstruction will be just slightly smaller than your breast volume prior to surgery. The port in a tissue expander can be accessed after surgery to change the size of your tissue expander. This allows us to determine your preferred size and plan for your second surgery. Tissue expansion usually begins between two and four weeks after your first stage surgery when your drains have been removed and your incisions are well healed. The process takes place in the office and is usually painless. Using a needle, the tissue expander port is accessed and fluid can be added. Tissue is expanded gradually over time by adding 50 to 60 cc's at each visit. We usually ask patients to schedule expansion visits at least one week apart. Tissue expansion is performed to your preference. Depending on your original breast size and the size you desire, you may need more or less tissue expansions. Expect to have at least one to three expansions after surgery to restore your original breast volume. If you know you would like your breast size to be larger after surgery, expect more expansion visits. If you would like to be smaller, you may not require any expansions. Keep in mind that fluid can be added to your expander and also can be removed. This allows you to determine the best size for you. Expansions can be done during chemotherapy, but not during radiation therapy. After you have completed expansions, your second stage surgery is performed. This usually takes place three months after your first surgery or after chemotherapy and radiation are complete. Some second stage surgeries occur six to nine months after initial surgery, depending on treatment schedules. During the stage two surgery, your expander is removed and the permanent implant of your choice is placed. This is usually accomplished through your previous mastectomy incision. Your permanent implant may be silicone or saline depending on your preferences. Pros and cons of the different types of implants will be discussed prior to your surgery. Stage two surgery is an outpatient surgery, 
takes approximately one to one and a half hours and is usually done under sedation. Most patients feel they are ready to return to work within two to five days. Three months after second stage surgery, nipple reconstruction is performed. This generally occurs in two procedures separated by two to three months, both done in the office. Nipple reconstruction involves lifting skin from the area where we'd like to create the nipple and wrapping it on itself to create a bump. Once this is healed, a tattoo is placed in order to create the color for the areola. Both of these procedures require no recovery time. We only ask that you do not swim afterwards for approximately one to two weeks. Some patients may proceed with nipple reconstruction using a tattoo alone. For these patients, we offer 3D tattooing in order to create the appearance of nipple projection despite the fact that they did not have a nipple mound reconstructed. Patients who have radiation may require tissue reconstruction with a latissimus flap or abdominal tissue flap. This will be determined after radiation is complete prior to the second surgery and therefore may alter the previously described timeline. Implants are slightly more firm, round, and full at the top when compared to a natural breast. They also do not move quite as much. Although implant-based reconstruction then is the least natural appearing breast reconstruction, this does not necessarily mean implant reconstruction creates an undesirable shape. Many women prefer the shape of their implant to their natural breast. It does, however, mean that most women will require surgery for symmetry on their opposite breast to achieve optimal symmetry. Implants also do not change with weight or over time. Therefore, asymmetries may become more pronounced as the natural breast continues to age and the implant reconstruction stays the same. In the setting of a bilateral mastectomy, the advantages of implant reconstruction are magnified. It is the least amount of surgery, allows flexibility with size, and creates two breasts that are both shaped like implants. During a mastectomy, the breast tissue is removed and the skin is saved. This means that the blood supply that comes through the breast is also removed. After a mastectomy then, the skin has a diminished blood supply and therefore a diminished ability to heal. When healing is only slightly impaired, you may find that your incision takes more time to heal than expected. If blood supply is limited to a greater degree, you may experience skin flap loss. This would appear as a scab. If delays in healing are interfering with your ability to start any further treatments needed, we may remove the area of skin that is not healed and reclose. Additionally, breast sensation is lost after mastectomy. It is most commonly maintained in the unaffected breasts, even if surgery for symmetry is performed. Open communication with your partner regarding sensation is important in maintaining intimacy after surgery. This presentation is meant to provide you with an overview of the main points we feel are important in educating you regarding breast reconstruction. At your first appointment with us, we will review this information as needed and answer any and all questions you may have. If after your first appointment you feel you have additional questions, you are welcome to return to the office for additional consultation time, use our additional resources such as the website, or contact us via email or phone at your convenience. We are happy to help in whatever way works best for you.